Purosaurus, the Amazonian Leviathan. If the modern crocodile gives you chills, Purosaurus would make your blood freeze. This Cenozoic monster, native to prehistoric South America, stretched over 12 meters, 40 feet long, and weighed an estimated 8 tons, making it one of the largest crocodilians to ever exist. That's bigger than a T-Rex by mass and nearly as long. Living about 8 million years ago in the swamps of the Amazon, Purosaurus wasn't just a predator, it was an ecosystem in itself. Its bite force has been estimated at 15,000 pounds per square inch, the strongest of any known animal. For comparison, a modern saltwater crocodile bites at around 3,700 psi. It hunted giant turtles, ground sloths, and even early horses that strayed too close to the water. Fossil evidence shows bite marks on enormous bones, clean, precise, and devastating. When Purosaurus ambushed, it didn't just grab prey, it removed them from existence. One lunge, one twist, and everything went still. Its reign ended as the Amazon basin shifted, drying out its swampy empire. But for millions of years, it ruled the rivers with quiet, colossal authority. Purosaurus wasn't a crocodile. It was a continent's nightmare given teeth. Dinosuchus, the dinosaur killer. The name Dinosuchus literally means terrible crocodile, and it earned it. Living about 80 million years ago during the late Cretaceous, this beast reached up to 12 meters, 39 feet, and weighed nearly 9 tons. It prowled the coastal swamps of North America, exactly where dinosaurs came to drink. Dinosuchus wasn't a scavenger. It was an ambush artist. Hidden beneath the surface, its enormous skull, over 1.8 meters long, waited motionless until the right moment. Then, with explosive force, it surged upward, clamping down with 18,000 pounds of bite pressure, enough to crush a car door or the leg of a hadrosaur. Fossilized dinosaur bones have been found with unmistakable Dinosuchus tooth marks, deep punctures the size of your fist. It didn't chase prey. It let the world come to it. Rivers, deltas, and coastlines became its hunting grounds. Even T. rex would have thought twice before approaching the water. Dinosuchus didn't roar, it waited, and when it moved, evolution trembled. If T. rex was king on land, Dinosuchus was the god lurking beneath it. All right, I will be posting more videos here, so slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Sarcosuchus, the super croc. Meet Sarcosuchus imperator, the original super croc. This titan from the early Cretaceous, around 110 million years ago, could grow over 12 meters, 40 feet, and weigh 8 tons, roughly the same as a T-Rex. But unlike the king of dinosaurs, Sarcosuchus ruled both land and water. Its skull alone measured 1.8 meters, lined with more than 100 teeth, some shaped for gripping, others for crushing. It didn't specialize in one diet. It ate everything. Fish, dinosaurs, turtles, and anything foolish enough to drink nearby. Found across Africa and South America, Sarcosuchus lived in massive river systems, dominating its environment for millions of years. It likely hunted by lunging from the shallows, dragging entire dinosaurs underwater, and performing the infamous death roll. But here's the twist. Its long, narrow snout suggests it was also a skilled fish hunter, capable of both ambush and chase. Sarcosuchus wasn't just a crocodile, it was a prototype for terror, part fish eater, part land killer, all nightmare. When it surfaced, it didn't just break the water, it broke the rules. Aegisuchus, the shield crocodile. If Sarcosuchus was muscle, Aegisuchus was mystery. Nicknamed the shield crocodile, this colossal reptile lived about 95 million years ago in North Africa. It was named for the strange bony plate found atop its head, a circular shield unlike anything seen in modern crocodiles. At nearly 10 meters long, Aegisuchus may not have been as bulky as Dinosuchus, but it had a weapon of its own, stealth. 
Its skull was wide and flat, ideal for ambushing prey just beneath the waterline. The strange cranial shield may have served multiple functions, display, muscle attachment, or even thermal regulation. Some scientists think it may have pulsed with blood vessels, glowing or changing color during dominance displays. Aegisuchus likely hunted fish and smaller dinosaurs along riverbanks, snapping up prey with lightning-fast reflexes. Its fossil remains are fragmentary, but what we know paints a picture of a crocodile that looked part alien, part god, a prehistoric monster whose head alone could double as a shield. It didn't just kill, it commanded. Dacosaurus, the sea crocodile with teeth of a killer whale. If you think crocodiles belong in swamps, meet Dacosaurus, a marine predator that ruled the Jurassic Oceans. Living around 150 million years ago, Dacosaurus grew up to 6 to 7 meters long, smaller than the river giants, but far more terrifying in design. Unlike modern crocodiles, Dacosaurus had a short, blunt snout filled with large, serrated teeth shaped like those of killer whales. It didn't nibble, it tore. It wasn't a slow ambusher either, it was built for speed. Streamlined and muscular, it sliced through the water like a reptilian torpedo. Dacosaurus preyed on fish, squid, and other marine reptiles, using its strong jaws to shear flesh clean off. Its bite marks on fossils show precision and violence. It didn't just bite to kill, it bit to dismember. Nicknamed the Godzilla Croc, Dacosaurus represents evolution's experiment in blending crocodile power with shark speed. If you were swimming in the Jurassic Seas, you wouldn't hear it coming. Just a shadow below, then nothing. Murasukis, the duck-faced crocodile. Some prehistoric crocodiles hunted dinosaurs. Others looked like they'd lost a bet with evolution. Enter Murasukis, the strangest of them all. Living about 6 million years ago in South America, Murasukis grew over 10 meters long, rivaling T. rex in size. But instead of a fearsome bite, it had a long, flat, duck-like snout lined with hundreds of tiny teeth. It didn't crush or tear. It scooped. Scientists believe Murasukis fed like a giant pelican, sweeping its jaws through the water to capture fish, small crustaceans, and whatever else fit in its enormous mouth. Its neck was weak, meaning it couldn't thrash prey like modern crocodiles. Instead, it likely used suction to gulp mouthfuls of water and filter out food, like a prehistoric vacuum cleaner. Despite its goofy face, Murasukis was no pushover. Its massive body and thick skin kept it safe from smaller predators. It's proof that in the crocodile family tree, not everything evolves to kill. Some evolve to scoop weirdly and survive anyway. Desmatosuchus, the armored vegetarian. Not every prehistoric crocodile was a meat eater. Meet Desmatosuchus, a heavily armored reptile from the Triassic period, over 230 million years ago, and one of the first croc like creatures to evolve. It grew up to 5 meters long and looked like a hybrid between a tank and a porcupine. Its body was covered in thick spiked armor plates, and its long snout helped it root for plants and roots near riverbeds. Yes, a crocodile cousin that ate plants. It wasn't a true crocodile, but an early relative, part of the Edosaur group, armored reptiles that thrived before real crocs appeared. Despite being herbivorous, Desmatosuchus was far from harmless. Its twin shoulder spikes could skewer predators that got too close, and its body armor made it nearly impossible to bite through. It may not have hunted dinosaurs, but it outlasted many who did. Desmatosuchus proves you don't need teeth and terror to survive prehistory, just armor, spikes, and stubbornness. Lidiosuchus, the ancient North American stalker. Named after American paleontologist Joseph Lady, Lidiosuchus prowled North America around 80 million years ago during the late Cretaceous. At around 5 to 6 meters long, it wasn't the largest, but it was one of the earliest true crocodiles, the blueprint for the modern design. It lived alongside Dinosuchus, but instead of battling dinosaurs, it focused on fish, turtles, and smaller prey. 
Its sleek body and powerful tail made it an agile ambusher, striking from murky water with precision. Ladiosuchus bridges the gap between primitive reptiles and the crocodiles we know today. It had the same armor, same ambush tactics, and same patience. But in an age of titans, it was overshadowed by its monstrous cousins, yet its lineage endured, outliving the dinosaurs entirely. It wasn't the biggest or deadliest. It was the survivor, and survival in the Age of Monsters was the ultimate victory. Gripposuchus, the snouted titan of the Amazon. When rivers stretched across ancient South America, Gripposuchus ruled them like a shadow. This prehistoric relative of the modern Garial grew up to 10 meters long, with a long, narrow snout designed for catching fish. It lived during the Miocene, sharing waters with Purosaurus, and often becoming both rival and prey. Fossil evidence suggests these two giants occasionally clashed, one built for speed, the other for strength. Griposuchus had specialized jaws filled with needle-like teeth, perfect for gripping fast-moving fish. Its streamlined body made it one of the fastest crocodilians ever to live, a river missile built for precision hunting. When Purosaurus ambushed, Griposuchus dodged. When prey darted, Griposuchus struck first. It was the spear to Purosaurus's hammer, a lighter, faster killer in the same ecosystem. Eventually, changing rivers wiped out both species. But for a time, South America's rivers belonged to two giants, one sleek, one unstoppable, and together, they turned the Amazon into the deadliest water on Earth. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.